Um, thank you, my great esteemed uncle. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and my newly extended families, uncles, aunties, cousins. Thank you for joining us in today's Affinities Lecture Series. It was wonderful conversation between those two esteemed friends. First and foremost, I would like to shed light on the devastating bushfires that have been sweeping the nation. These fires have significantly impacted communities, families, and their homes. In response, it brings comfort to see individuals and communities uniting in an effort to collect donation and bring relief to those who have been affected. At Affinity, we strive to be a symbol of uni unity and collaboration between communities of various backgrounds, inspiring others to combat the issues we face as a nation. Hence, in 2020, we have planned events for each month in, in an effort to encourage fruitful discussions on a number of topics to consolidate bonds. Diversity within Australia society today and in the future is an opportunity for us to form a dynamic united, united front to create a colorful view of the world. Our ability to appreciate the beauty in differences is what brings our society together. Today we witness a wonderful discussion between can I say my cousin, senior cousin, Bob, and also my <laughs> uncle, Richard. Thank you. To both, uh, to both of our speakers, we believe you are in, uh, an important asset to Australian society to promote, advocate, and reflect on how Australia perceives and contributes to global events and crises. These two speakers, uh, my cousins or uncles, were truly a reflection of the values that affinity and Australians embody when addressing such issues. If anyone would like to watch the video of this lecture and any other affinity events, please have a look at, a look at our uh, affinity YouTube uh, uh, channel. Now, for the most exciting part of the they, it is uh, gift time. All gifts are from my uncle's shop. I would like to invite my highly respected cousin, uh, Rory Jeffs, CEO uh, of Opera Australia, to the stage to present a small gift to my esteemed uncle, Richard Bronowski. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, cousin Rory. I also would like to invite my highly respected cousin, Her Excellency, my senior cousin, Alison Bronowski, to present a small gift to my great uncle, Barry Answorth. Please come on to stage. <laughs> Thank you, Alison. Thank you, Barry. Finally, I would like to give a short introduction for Affinity's upcoming events in 2020. Firstly, the third Advancing Community Cohesion Conference organized by Western Sydney University, Professor Sev Ozdevsky and Professor Kevin Dunn will be held from 10 and 13 February 2020. Affinity is one of uh, its proud partners. Further information can be found on the Western Sydney University's website. Secondly, we are pleased to announce the upcoming Affinity exclusive climate change lecture series on the 11th of March. These events will be facilitated by Associated Professor Clyde Pearson, a research fellow of Charles Sturt University. This lecture series will also feature our keynote speaker, the Honorable Matt Keane, Member of Parliament, who is the New South Wales Minister for Energy and the Environment. Thirdly, Affinity is also organizing another lecture series with the Human Rights Watch, Human Rights Crisis in Asia and Australia's Role, on the 19th of March. This event will be facilitated by Pauline Wright, the President of the Law, Soci Law Council of Australia, and will feature our keynote speaker, Elaine Pearson, the Australian Director at Human Rights Watch. Additionally, an evening lecture will be co-hosted by Affinity and the United Nations Association of Australia New South West Division. In recognition of World Refugee Day, the topic of this lecture will be a refugee's contribution to the multicultural Australian society. 
This event will be facilitated by my cousin Craig Foster and on the 23rd of June 2020, featuring the keynote speaker, Professor Minjit El Mideris. Next, Affinity will also be holding a busy schedule during Ramadan. This month will be shared with various communities and faiths to enjoy the beauty of a united and harmonious community. It will be shared through various programs and iftars between the in interval of April 24th and May 23rd. Finally, Affinity is organizing the International Festival of Language and Culture at the Sydney Coliseum on 11th 11 October. The IFSC is an annual celebration which showcases the range of musical, music, music, musical talents and cultural diversity from around the world, showing the union, friendship, and kindness, which is endemic to Australia's multiculturalism. Young students' performers will come from across the globe including more than 15 countries. This highlight video shows 2016 Sydney Opera House and 2018 International Convention Center. If you've never been to an IFLC concert before, you are in for a treat. We have delegations from the Philippines, from China, and from Japan, and we have some fantastic entertainment coming your way. parents are, where they were born, what the color of our skin, whether we are male or female, we are fellow human beings. And we can look at one another tonight and recognize in one another our common humanity and say that every single one of us has that right to be free. Can I just acknowledge these 150 wonderful, young, talented, performing artists that tonight are celebrating at the wonderful cultural diversity, people from 19 different countries. It is a great honor, a great pleasure to be here. Have you had a great night so far? In the last seven decades, Australia has welcomed settlers from every part of the world and we have become one of the most multicultural countries and a successful multicultural country at that. We have to thank the young people who've come here from all of those various countries, some 19 countries have come here to share with us their language, culture, song and dance. In a spirit of understanding and acceptance, children from 22 countries, including Australia, are uniting to remind us that when we understand each other, our similarities are many and our differences few. This organisation, a tremendous idea, uniting us through our children. The importance tonight is that everyone here has decided to fill their lives with love. And that is an enormously commendable thing. The world you have shown us tonight is the world I want to live in. Are you not exactly what our troubled world needs so badly.
Bob, I would like to thank our today's sponsors and esteemed advisor board members who are our valuable assets. I would like to thank you. Good evening. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>